Killing one in order to save many is part of survival. I only need a minute. Should have put you out of your misery right then. When I look at Kenny now, he just he seems broken. Broken people get reckless.
safe to come out. Here, I got him. Jesus Christ. That was, uh... That was intense. I thought... Man, I thought that was it. Yeah, it was for these assholes. Thanks for coming back. I didn't know this man. I never killed someone that didn't wrong me in some way. That didn't deserve it. Tried to pretend he was a walker. But it's different. You saved us. Yeah. That's why I did it, but... It felt wrong. Come on. Okay. Blaming yourself, Kenny. You did what you had to to protect the boy. She just lost too much blood. Ain't nobody's fault. You know, we could have done better by her. She was just too far gone. She's with Alvin now. Yeah. Yeah, she is. Don't worry, Becca. We'll take care of your boy. You rest <sighs> easy. Piece of shit! Ugh. Hey, hey! Stop! Guys, get guys, off me! Come on! It's over, man. He ain't a threat to us. How can you say that? Of course he is! Get out of the way! Whoa! What are you doing? I'm doing the same thing this asshole tried to do to us! It doesn't have to go down like that. Kenny, his his sister is dead. He's lost enough already. You don't have to do this. This house, food, please. Please, I can take you. Bullshit! No, no. It's true. We have place. Not far. Food. See? He wants to help. Oh, don't be stupid. He's just trying to save his skin. Why the hell would you help us, huh? I... I now want to see more people dead. Then close your eyes and I'll make it quick. Kenny, back off. If he's telling the truth, it could save all of us. We need the food. None of this will matter if we all starve to death. She's right, Kenny. We're running low on supplies as it is. It's worth the risk to check this place out. Trust him, don't trust him. It doesn't matter. We should go anyway. We just need to be careful. It can't be far from here. You stay out of this! You're the reason these fuckers came after us in the first place! Don't try and pin this on me. Lay off, Kenny. She just helped us. Look, don't start, alright? Don't blame her for what these people did. Think about the baby, Kenny. If there are supplies, we need them. We ain't gonna last much longer without more food. We gotta take a chance. Unless someone's got a better plan. We got something to tie this shit bird up. Yeah, I got something. Follow me, I thank you. Just give me a reason. Yeah, man, he gets it. I know you're probably pissed about me leaving. When I heard the gunshots, I... I knew it was a mistake. If it helps, the thing I'd normally do is walk away for good. But I didn't. Despite what my instincts are telling me. Despite everything I've seen. We needed you, but you left. How do I know it won't happen again? Believe it or not, I want to try and make this work. All I can do is... I promise you I won't abandon you again. Which, to be fair, I've never done before. Even though I probably should have. A few times now. You don't gotta point the gun at him the whole time. You forget what we just went through? He ain't going anywhere, Kenny. No need to get your arm all sore. I'm worried about Kenny. He's... 
He's in a dark place. We gotta keep an eye on him. Everything he's been through. He's lost. It's changing him. He'll be okay. I've known him a while. Well, it's all starting to pile up. It's weighing on him. Everyone has a breaking point. You're the only one that he trusts. That he really trusts. That means you're the one that's gonna have to pull him back. He's counting on you. If we're really going to make this work, we're all counting on you. I'll do my best. I know. Come on, slowpokes! I'm fine. Man, I just need a second. Sorry, I just, I just put more weight on it than I should have. All right, wait there. Hey, what I say? When I tell you something, you fucking listen, you understand? Kenny, come on. There's no need for that. He's getting what he deserves. I'm fucking talking to you. I say stop. You'd best stop. Kenny! He understands. Just fucking stay put. I'm gonna have a word with Kenny. He doesn't have to treat him that way. Kid's been through enough. You all right here? Yeah, yeah. Go on and talk to him. I got clam if I need anything. Okay. Here, just take the baby. Okay. What is it with you guys? What do you mean? Every man I've known is always trying to let each other know how tough they are. Put them in their place. Bunch of dominant alpha male horse shit. And it all ends the same way. Now don't look at me. I ain't that guy. Oh, that ain't true. You get in your fair share of pissing matches too. Do I? Are you kidding me? Yeah, they're just scared. That's when it happens. When they don't know what to do. <sighs> yeah, that makes sense to me. Guess it took a woman to talk some sense into him. Looks like Jane broke it up. Keep pressure on it, okay? I'm gonna go fetch some bandages. Hey, Bonnie. Yeah? I'm sorry. For what? I'll be right back. Damn it. Don't worry. You're gonna be okay. a tree. Bullet in my leg. But alive. <laughs> when so many of my friends are dead. For no good reason. And I couldn't do anything to stop it. Everyone we set out with just gone. Nick, Pete, Alvin and Becca, Carlos, Sarah. And for what? You can't blame yourself. It wasn't your fault. No. Not completely. I could have done more, and that ain't up for debate. I know it in my bones, and I gotta live with it. All right, this should work. That's perfect. What'd I miss? Hmm? Uh, nothing much. You know, complaining, mostly. I was just mentioning how cold it is lately. Yeah, 
Well, good thing he got that cool jacket, huh? I'm sure most of that'll come out with a little soap and water. I'm fine. Hey, Clem. Go over and see if you can change the bandages on Kenny's wound. I offered, but I don't think he was comfortable with me doing it. But you know him better than I do. Maybe he'll let you do it. They really need changing. I don't know if he'll let me. He may not, but you ought to try. That's gonna sting, but only for a second. It's gonna clean it. Oh, I know what it does. It's gonna suck. It's gotta get done. Go on. I was thinking we'd go with Alvin Jr. What do you think? Rebecca mentioned she'd like to name him Alvin if it was a boy. I mean, Rebecca was so out of it she hadn't settled on her name. I think his parents would have liked that. Yeah, me too. Alvin Jr. it is. Do you like that? Well, I think AJ approves. What do you, uh, got there? Because I think I'm all right. I mentioned it earlier. To Bonnie. Can I change your bandages? You shouldn't have to do stuff like this. Shouldn't have to do a lot of things. All right. Let's get it over with. Hopefully it don't scare this little guy. Or you. So how's it look? I still gonna be pretty when this heals? Well, it looks a lot better than it did. And maybe my modeling days ain't over. And this is gonna be the shitty part. So, this is gonna hurt like hell. Well, you could have lied a little, you know. <sighs> Holy fucking hell! <sighs> you need to stop squirming. Yeah. Yeah, okay. You're right. Sorry about the language, Junior. You're gonna be tougher than me when you're grown. I'm gonna expect you to be more of a gentleman than I am. But man... Is that smart? He'll be tough. Just like his dad. Why, well, Alvin didn't look it. But yeah, that guy had a pair on him. I should've gave myself up. Alvin didn't have to die like that. I'm gonna think about that every time I look at Alvin Jr. here. Alvin should be here, raising this boy. It should be him. The best thing you can do for Alvin and Rebecca is raise him right. Make sure he's safe. I intend to. Done. Thank you, sweetie. Yep. Are we ready to go? Let's head out. Is that it? Hey, I'm talking to you! What? It? 
It, it's what? What do you mean, what? The place you're fucking taking us. He doesn't speak much English. Yeah, no shit. Is that it? I thought you said it was a house. Arvo, is this where the supplies are? Where the food is? Answer her, goddammit! No, it's at the house. There's still more work. Some more hours. God damn it! I knew this was gonna happen. This guy fucked us. <sighs> Thank you. Don't mention it. It's getting dark. Maybe we should stop for the night. This is bullshit. Relax. Don't tell me to relax. He's lying. He's been lying this whole time. You don't fucking know that. Luke needs a break. We probably all do. Look, I'll do whatever you guys want, okay? But I could use the rest. It'd be safer to rest in there, where there's a fence. Can we just try and have a calm, quiet night? Please. That sounds nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. Oh, shit. Sorry about that. It's all right, buddy. It's all right. If we're staying, we should scout this place out. All right. Y'all wait here. I'll go make sure this ain't some walker nest we're locking ourselves into. I'll go with you. Uh, see if, uh, see if you can calm it down a bit. No, that's all you. Wouldn't have guessed that it worked. Me neither. I think he likes you. Calmed right down for you. He's cute. Yeah, he is, isn't he? Most babies are pretty ugly this soon after being born. That's true. They usually look like weird little aliens. Here, I got them. Come on over. It's safe. <clears throat> Today's my birthday. Near as I can tell, at least. Happy birthday, Luke. Yeah, man. Happy birthday. Thanks. So, that makes you... what? 27? That's... that's right. I'm surprised you remember. Sure as hell feel a lot older. Don't even start with that shit. Got out of college five years ago. Feels like a million years. At least I don't have to worry about paying off them student loans. I hear that. I'm sure there's some asshole sitting on that paperwork, waiting to collect. What did you study? Majored in art history. That's cool. <laughs> Sounds like you majored in working in a coffee shop. Pretty much. Oh, stop it. Did you get a minor in agriculture? Keep the old man happy. Oh, I almost forgot. We're saving it for a special occasion, man. While it being your birthday and all, figure, this is as good a time as any. I'd like a sip. I mean, after you, obviously. Really? No! Oh, what's a sip gonna hurt? You are not drinking. That is that. I feel a little guilty taking the first Whoa, uh... wait! You gotta make a toast. I'm not really the, uh... Come on, birthday boy. It don't have to be fancy. A toast means we all got something to drink. Oh, we can just pass the bottle around afterwards. Go on. <clears throat> to the loved ones that we've lost along the way. And to the hope that we see them again. Someday. Here, here. That was real nice. Yeah? I didn't mean for it to rhyme. That was... Well, I got first watch. I think the fence has got us pretty secure. Can't be too careful. The baby might be cold. I can take it. Nah, you stay warm. Clem, let him go. I'm gonna post up over near the hole in the fence there. Holler if you need anything. Thanks, Kenny.
Fire's real nice. Plenty of room if you want to get warm. Maybe in a bit. I didn't expect her to come back. Just when I thought I got her figured out, she up and surprises. It's a good thing. She saved our ass. I know. I know. I just... don't know what she's getting at all this. We're lucky to have her. I'm glad she's here. Well, she helped us back there. So that puts her as okay in my book. Well, it ain't no secret how you feel about her. Oh, come on. I'm just teasing. Hey, was stupid. I understand. She's a pretty girl. Once you get past all the dirt and guts. I don't know. I guess I just wanted to forget about all this shit for like ten minutes. Ten minutes? Man, that's longer than I'd last at this point. Hey! Alright, All right. it wasn't ten minutes. Come on. We got a little one around. Sorry. Forget I said anything. I know what you guys are talking about. I certainly hope not. You're talking about kissing stuff. Uh, yeah. Yes, yes, that... That is exactly it. Was there any kissing? You shut your mouth right now! The both of you! Maybe she came back for you. Could be. I don't know what to say to that. I'd come back for you. You know what I mean. Thank you, Clem. I do the same. Luke's a regular casting note. Hey, shut up. Don't be modest. Your moves are working on all the ladies. Worked on me. Oh, shit. I just did it too, didn't I? Sorry. It's the drink talking. They say a drunk man's talk is a sober man's thoughts. Well, I ain't a man, so they can take that shit somewhere else. Clem, go see if you can get Jane and Kenny over by the fire. It's too cold for them to be out there like that. Oh, and here, maybe a swig of this will change the minds. At least we don't need to worry about being electrocuted. expect you to lure me over there with alcohol? I wouldn't have expected a bottle to last this long. It's probably been a while for everyone. Maybe I just wanted to talk. All right. I'll pretend I believe you. I don't know. It, it might be awkward. I wasn't expecting to... You know... Be around. Why? Because you made it with Luke? What does that even mean? What's the it? You know. Yeah. Because I made it with Luke. It's not a big deal. Why does this feel like I'm signing a contract or something? That's really good. Have you had any? You want a sip? It's okay. Um, sure. <laughs> you okay? Uh oh, busted. I better take that back. I wasn't too much older than you when I had my first drink. God, I was so stupid back then. There was this time I broke into my parents' liquor cabinet and drank a whole bottle of this really spicy, sweet liquor. Oh, what was its name? I was dumb. Earthquake or something. Sounds like you were a bad kid. I guess I was. At the bottom of the bottle, there were these sugar crystals, and I got it in my head that I really wanted to eat a couple. So I got the bright idea to smash it on my parents' dining room floor to get at them. 
And it shattered into a thousand pieces all over the dining room. And I proceeded to eat what I thought was sugar candy. Did you ever get caught? Yeah. The problem with glass is it looks a lot like sugar crystals. That's never really been a problem for me. Keep it that way. My sister found me, drunk, blood pouring out of my mouth. Jamie thought I was dying, so she called 911. They pumped my stomach. You ate glass? I ate glass. I haven't thought about that in a long time. I guess a deal's a deal. Here. That guy needs a drink more than any of us. Time to not make it weird. Wanna sit here? No, that's... I'm fine. Oh, yeah, okay. Wherever you like. I'm sorry about your sister. Leave me alone, please. I miss TV. Feels like forever since we had electricity. There, there, little guy. I got you. I got you. Hey. Oh, hey, Clem. I asked you not to drink. Girl your age, it ain't right. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to disappoint you. You're not, hun. It's probably not my place to be telling you what to do. It's a nice night. Just, uh, needed some air. Kenny, there's air everywhere. I'm sorry for, for how I acted back there. After Sarita was... I just... I, I couldn't handle it. I'm sorry. I mean, you did what you could. You tried to help, and I blamed you for it. I'm so, so sorry. You don't have anything to apologize for. I know you didn't mean it. Thanks. I miss my boy. I miss him so much. I didn't raise him like I should have. Made mistakes. Wasn't there a lot for a couple years. Off on a boat somewhere or other. I thought I enjoyed that time away from him. From my family. I'd give anything for one more second with them. To play catch with Doug. To touch Katja's face. Anything in the world. I miss Doug too. He was a good friend. And I haven't had too many of them. He was a good boy. Pure. 
Just wanted folks to be happy, that's all. A boy like that, thrown into a world like this. It's gonna be different with him. He's gonna get raised right. I won't make the same mistakes again. That's a promise. You should get back over by the fire. Ain't no sense in both of us being over here. I can handle watching on my own. The baby might be cold. Maybe you should bring him by the fire. Yeah, okay. Seems secure enough. For one night, anyways. <laughs> uh, Jane, you don't have to justify that with a response. Hey, I find it's best to just get this stuff out in the open. Less drama. Well, that's fine. But I can confirm there was no time for kissing. Shh, shh. All right, enough of that. Hey, Clem. It's nice to hear people laughing. Yeah, it is. You just... Spend so much time trying to stay alive that you don't get a chance to enjoy living. Yeah. We need to make more time for that. Alcohol helps. <laughs> Hell yeah, it does. Let me get that bottle. We got someone else that might need some help. Sounds like a waste of good rum. He lost his sister today. And whose fault was that? That makes it even harder to deal with. Trust me. He needs it as much as anyone right now. It's a nice thing to do. I said my piece. I don't think that boy's a bad person. I just think good people do bad things sometimes. And they do it a lot more nowadays with the world being what it is. So I think it's best. Leave me alone! Sorry, okay? My fault. I shouldn't have. Leave me alone! Please, <laughs> David. It's okay. It's okay. She's in a better place. It's okay. It's okay. Maybe it's best if we all get some rest. Who knows how long a walk we got tomorrow. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'll take first watch. Thank you, Kenny. Really. I, uh... Don't mention it. You did good. It was nice while it lasted. You sure you're good? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. If I, if I start to crap out, I'll let you know. Okay, will you do that? It's no trouble. How much further? Close. Very close. You've been saying that every time I ask. Please. Come. I'm really starting to think <gasps> you're full of shit. Behind you! What the fuck? Ah! That was close. Fucker came out of nowhere! That was real loud. Hopefully there aren't more of them. 
Yeah, well, let's move. We don't want to be around to find out. It's very close. Come. There. That piece of shit is half built. We're here for the supplies, not the house. It's warm. Fireplace. Very warm. It looks like it's empty. Yes, it's empty. I thought so too. But now that he said that, I'm not as sure. If it ain't, kid's gonna wish it was. Are we just gonna walk over? Maybe there's a way around. I don't see any. Можно идти. Там Say it, an American asshole. It's okay. Walk. Ice. No shit ice. That's the problem. He's saying it's fine. Maybe we shouldn't clump together. We just can't have too much weight. She's right. We need to spread out. Just to be safe. Less weight, the better. Let the Rusky go first, since he's so confident. It's okay. We're okay. Don't worry. We got some walkers behind us. That's only two of them. We'll be all right. Let's just get to the house. Hey, stay with us. That's two less to deal with. Just stay spread out and we'll be fine. Hey! Motherfucker! Shit! He's gonna kill him! Kenny! Get back here, you piece of shit! Late. 
Nothing more you can do! I got you. Come on. Come on, you're gonna be okay. Go. To the house. We need a fire. Oh, fuck. She's gonna fucking freeze to death. How the fuck did that happen? There's a fireplace. Jesus Christ. We have to get them warm. They're gonna freeze to death. This is gone. Looks fucking gone. We should have gone around. God damn it. We should have just fucking gone around. God damn it. It happened too fast. I said I started to go. There was nothing any of us could do. Don't listen to her, Clem. This ain't on you. You son of a bitch! This is your fucking fault! Kenny! Don't, man! To what? It's nobody's damn fault! The hell it ain't! I'm freezing. Can we just get a fire started? Look at this place. Just a stack of fucking toothpicks! Bet those magical supplies are bullshit too. What? No speaking of English? Fuck you. You fucking commie piece of shit, Teddy! Fuck you. Another just like it. He wasn't lying. You want to tell me how a can of fucking chili is going to help? How me? is beating a kid to death going to help anyone? This is your fault, and you damn well know it. I'm tying him up. Fine. Mike, help me get a fire started. You okay? He's hurt real bad. Mike! Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh. You got a light? I thought I had matches. Take a look at you, kid. Jesus. He could have killed you. The fuck is wrong with him? You're up. Kenny's out back, trying to get some stupid truck started. Here, you should eat something. You okay? Thank you.
I can't believe he's gone. I've lost people before, but it just hasn't felt this, this shitty in a while. He was a great guy. God damn it. I shouldn't have come back. I knew this would happen. I knew it. Always does. We'll be okay. Trust me. If you say so. I'm gonna find something to clean that up. Thank you. Thank you. I can't take this shit anymore. Feeling better? Yeah. Hell of a day. But we gotta get moving. If you're feeling up to it. I could use a hand out back with this truck. This house ain't worth the crap, but the vehicles ain't in bad shape. With a little luck, we can get one fixed up. Be out of here by nightfall. Yeah, sure, Kenny. That's the spirit, darling. I'll wait for you out back. I'll watch him. What did she have to say? I know she was running her mouth. What did she say? You shouldn't have done that to Arvo. I know. I know, Clem, but, but I don't care. You can't do that. Jesus, Clem, you know me. You know I'm not like that. You scared me. You scared all of us, Kenny. It won't happen again. That's a promise. over but aj needs us now we got to stick together on this thing all right come on let's see if the truck's gonna go my daddy always had a half dozen wrecks he was fixing up he was a mean son bitch but he taught me respect girl like Jane could learn a thing or two about that. We're all just tired. Hell, I've been tired for two years. All right, give it a turn. get this thing running, and then we can get out on the road and really make some distance. Wellington's gotta be out there. Now those rumors can't all be bunk. I mean, hell, there's gotta be something out here other than snow and goddamn Euro trash. Sounds good to me. We're gonna make it, Clem. I know it. Turn it again. Did you turn it? Yes. God damn it! <sighs> we'll get it working. We gotta get moving if we're gonna keep AJ alive. We're running out of time. I gotta get this thing to start. Gonna try warming up the battery. Go on inside. I don't like leaving him with that girl.
Need any help? I'm fine. Go check on AJ. Wish they'd finished this place. Busted. Looks broken. Looks like it's about to collapse. What do you want? I'm sorry about Luke. Sorry? It must be nice being a pretty little girl. No one ever expects you to do a damn thing. You and I both know you had a chance to save Luke. You and I both know what happened back there. I got nothing more to say to you. Mike and Arvo wouldn't shut up, so I moved him in here. God damn it! Seen that look before. Son of a bitch! Oh. I've seen it too. A few times. Then you know what's about to happen. I know Kenny's a nice guy, Clem. I bet Carver was a nice guy, too. Once. Probably had a nice job, and a nice pretty wife. Then all this happened. And one day, he caved some kid's face in and realized he could sleep at night. We can still make this work. All I'm saying is, start thinking about what happens if you're wrong. You two have known each other a long time. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide how much that's worth. I think it needs food or something. Seems like you've done that before. You wanna try? No way. It's gonna puke. Clem, no. Hold it like this. Hey. Hi. <laughs> My name's Jane. I think it's gonna puke. It's not gonna puke. <laughs> it puked! It puked! Gross. There's not much left. I was running with some people a long time ago, down near D.C. Some guy got trapped in the middle of a crosswalk. Can't remember his name. He used to call me Mary Jane. He was a douchebag. Anyway, the dick got stuck under a car hiding from a dozen walkers. One after another, they went down there trying to save him. 
Lost four people before we got him out. So we made it? Didn't find out till later he was already bit. Turn and rip the neck right out of this old lady. The look on her face was... She was just staring up at the sky, like she was watching a bird. Look, Clem. He got it working. It works? what I tell you? So what's the plan? How much food do we have? At least a week. And for the baby? We need to find a place for the baby. Yeah, some place warm. I agree. We should head back south. What? We're kind of freeze to death. I don't know whose stupid idea it was to march up here in the first place, but it was a bad one. She's right. What if we went back to house? Wait, what? Fuck that. I was thinking more like Texas. Texas? The fuck? Just an idea. We already talked about this. I'm sorry. We did? We're going to find Wellington. Right, Clem? Wellington? Kenny, it's freezing up here, man. It's only gonna get worse. We came this far. We're not going back. Nah, man. This is fucking nuts. I'm with Kenny. We should head north. Goddamn right. Clem, my friend Krista, she told me about Wellington a long time ago, Jane. It's out there. Look, I don't give two shits about what you people think. I got this truck working, so I say where we go. And we're heading fucking north. It's the best chance we got of helping AJ. What about Arbo? Who? Oh, the Rusky? Yeah, he ain't coming with us. You're just gonna leave him here? I don't give a good goddamn where he goes. He's done. We should ask him what he wants. There's a concept. He knows the area. He can help us. Oh yeah, some help he's been. He got Luke killed. I gotta say he helped the situation. But maybe if you'd eased up on him before, he wouldn't have run away in the first place. You think about that, Kenny? Either way, I'm not going anywhere in the middle of the night. Yeah, me neither. There could be a herd out there. You want that child's blood on your hands, Mike? We're all gonna die out here if you don't calm the fuck down, Kenny. Haven't we been through enough for one day? Jesus fucking Christ. Remember the last time we had a working car and sat around on our asses, Clem? I'm going inside. Better talk some sense into him. For his sake. stick up her ass, but I thought at least Mike could have more sense. They're scared of you, Kenny. Well, if their big plan is to wander around in the woods, they ought to be scared of more than me. Did you hear me? We're all scared. Look, we got maybe a day's worth of food for that kid left. That's it. Clem, think about Rebecca and Alvin. I mean, what if Lee hadn't gone tearing across half of Georgia looking for you? A lot of folks died to make that happen. A lot of folks died to get us this far. I know. You're right. Someone's gotta keep this group together. That kid's depending on us. <sighs> I wish Lee was here. What'd you think he'd say? I think he'd tell me to try to keep the group together. 
We can't just give up on this kid. I mean, what's the point of going on after that? That's what people like Lee knew, and what people like Jane won't ever understand. Look, I know Wellington might be bullshit, but where there's smoke, there's fire. Krista heard about it too, right? You know, when I first saw you back at that lodge, I thought I was dreaming. And when you sat with those people at dinner, well, I knew you were growing up. And yeah, I felt sad, but also pride. Pride I hadn't felt in a long time. But I need you now, Clem. There have to be folks doing better than us. Something has to be out here. We'll find it, Kenny. I knew I could count on you, Clem. Look, we'll figure everything out in the morning. Come on, let's get some sleep. So we gotta be ready. He's going to die. 
I know it. You don't know that? I feel bad. Why? I called him a crybaby when I hid the bug in his pillow. Oh, that's okay, honey. He didn't mean it. sometimes. Have you ever been that angry? One time. Clem, people don't always make sense. How come? Because bad things happen to everyone. It's hard to keep being yourself after they do. What do you think? Should we have left her behind? No. Maybe we should have. I don't know. I don't know if we did the right thing. How can you tell? It's not like math, Clem. Sometimes there just isn't the right answer. I hate math. <laughs> Me too, sweet pea. Yeah, but part of growing up is doing what's best for the people you care about. Even if sometimes that means hurting someone else. I don't want to hurt anyone. It's not that easy. I'm scared, Lee. What can I tell you to make it better? That you won't leave me. Oh, I wouldn't do that. I promise. Everything's gonna be alright. some sleep. Okay, Lee. Find the bullet. Must have gone clean through. It'll burn a while, but you'll be fine. Those sons of bitches. I mean, I expected it from the Russian, but Mike? I could tell they were working on something. I didn't think they'd go that far. Yeah, well, who would steal our food and shoot a kid? He never should have thrown in with trash like that in the first place. I can't believe they did that. I don't think they knew what they were doing, except trying to get away. Yeah, well, they're gone now. Good fucking riddance. Now that Clem's awake, we should talk about where we're going. We're headed north. What, to find Wellington? You sure talk a lot of shit, but you got a better plan? We head south, back to House. Carver's camp? The fuck kind of plan is that? I think Bonnie said there was more formula back there. And we actually know where it is. Wellington's out there. We have to keep looking, Jane. Clem, you can't be falling for this. She made up her mind, Jane. Clem, please. This is suicide. Why don't you let her think for herself for once? 
else. Why don't you? Me? Look, even if there is some place up here, it could take us weeks to find it. We could get back to Howe's in a day. Tell you what, we can turn around just as soon as you pry this wheel from a cold, dead fingers. How's that sound? Whatever. I give up. Get your feet off the dash. Let's play game, Clem. I spy, with my little eye, an asshole. Your turn. Grow up. Go to hell. I'll pull this fucking car over. Go ahead. You wanna die out here? Better than waiting to die next to you. You're both being children. Me? I couldn't see the damn road. Bet you're having trouble seeing a lot of things these days. You shut your fucking mouth. I am done playing games with you, Jeff. Fuck you. You don't know a damn thing about me. Oh, I know exactly what you are. Nothing. Nobody cares about you. And you don't care about nobody but yourself. That makes you nothing. What is it with you? It's your family, right? Don't. It is, isn't it? I'm warning you, you little shit. You're just another type A asshole trying to save a bunch of dead people. Watch the road. I am, goddammit. You listen to me. You mouth off about my family, and I will fucking end you. Jesus Christ, I am so sick of this wounded warrior crap. Just pull over. I can't take this. What? Running away again? What a fucking shocker. In the end, still only care about yourself, right? And where were you when Sarita died, Kenny? Huh? Where were you? I was there. I couldn't... God damn you, I love that woman! Who could love you? Look at you. You can't raise this kid. It's scared to death of you. Nobody who died is anyone's fault. We... we all wanted to be together and it just went bad. But we owe it to them to try to make the best of this. I'm sorry, Clem, but I can't put up with this bullshit anymore. Oh, the feeling's mutual. You know the thing about people like you, Kenny? You're just a bomb waiting to go off. Everyone talks about you behind your back because they're afraid of you. That ain't true. Mike? Bonnie? Sarita? Fucking liar, that ain't true! Everyone around you knows that sooner or later, they're gonna end up dead. Sarita knew it, I know it, and so does Clementine. I told you not to talk about my family! Fuck you! You fucking piece of shit! What the hell, you son of a bitch! Jesus! <laughs> Okay? I'm fine. How's AJ? He's fine. You sure? Yes. Clem, you alright? Yeah. Kenny, I'm... Wait, hold on. Go around. One of them might have diesel. We shouldn't stop here. We're running on fumes. Got no choice. When I holler, it's okay. Drive up closer. Anything happens, I'll try to meet you there. Alright? If you're going, go now. Kenny! That fucking asshole. God! I can't do this anymore. I'm serious, Clem. I tried, but I just can't. Stop making him mad. Everything makes him mad. How are you not seeing that? Well, all you're doing is just making it worse. You're just like him. Clem, we could leave. Right now. Are you serious? What about AJ? Look, I, I know you're close to him, but Kenny would never let him go. This is our chance, Clem. Don't you ever want to know what it's like to live your own life? It's snowing. Why are they moving? They must not be cold enough yet. I don't know how to drive! See that pedal on the floor? Step on it! Don't just sit there!
You all right? Yeah. Where is he? Where's the kid? He's with her. You left him with her? Jane?
I'm right behind you. She was trying to kill me, too. If she hadn't lied about Alvin here, it wouldn't have went that far. I just... why would she... She was nuts, Clem. A disturbed person that had her own agenda, that was looking out for herself. Shh, it's all right, buddy. Hey, listen, I didn't want that to happen either. I thought she'd killed Alvy, Clem. And at any point, she could have stopped what was happening by saying he was fine. She wanted a fight. I'd never, ever hurt you. You understand? I was protecting you. You believe me, right? Just imagining what she did to Alvy. I... I believe you. Okay. Thanks. some miles between us and this place. It's just a little further. We're almost there. I sure hope that's a cook fire. Oh, we could use a hot meal right about now. Might be all I need. Come on. I'll race you to the top. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Come on, Alby. We got this. You cheated. Holy shit. We did it, Clem. That's... That's gotta be it. I... <laughs> I can't believe we found it. It's about time. You were telling me. What are we waiting for? Come on. This one's gonna be the one. Look at those walls. We'll finally feel safe, Clem. Be able to sleep at night. Not far enough. Just stay still, Clem. Do as she says. Put your hands up, Clem. Drop your weapon. Approach the gate. Just a couple of people at the front gate. They don't look like trouble. Sounds good. Hi, I'm Edith. Name's Kenny. And this here's Clementine. Hello. Oh, what a handsome boy. Look at him. What's his name? Alvin. Junior. Oh, he's gonna be a little heartbreaker when he grows up. Why'd you make us leave our stuff over there? Can't we just bring it in? What? Well, 
I'm afraid this is the part where I give you the bad news. The hell's this? That's some supplies. Food, water, what? some medicine, a first aid kit. Why are kit. you giving us this? Unfortunately, our community isn't accepting new members. We're over capacity as it is, and there's just not enough to go around if we keep bringing people in. Things might change in you a few months. You got fucking kidding me. I'm sorry. I really am. So we're supposed to just take this and go? But, but, we have a baby. This, this is hard for me too. I don't want to turn anyone away, especially children. But just take the kids. What? Please, just take the kids. It's too dangerous out here for them. Kenny, it's I... It's just a little girl and a baby boy. You can make room for that. You can take back the supplies you gave us if that helps. Please, just... I need them to be safe. And it's safe in there. I know that. Just ask someone, please. They won't make it out here. Please. I'll ask. Just give me a second. You don't need to look at me like that. You're just gonna leave us? If they'll only take you two, then that's how it's gotta be. We don't even know these people. It doesn't matter. It's safe here. You two will be safe. That's what's important now. We can take the children, but just the children. I made the case that... Thank you. Thank you. Listen, okay? Listen. This is your chance for you and this boy. I don't trust myself to keep you two safe. Not anymore. Please, I'm begging you. Please, stay here. Stay here where it's safe. Where you two will have a chance. Why are you doing this? Because it's the only way for both of you. Think about Alvi here. Please, Clem, just do as I'm asking. This one last time. You meet people, you make friends. People better than me. No! We're leaving. All of us. Together. Clem, please. It's safe here. Do you need to Stop. think about them? Stop! Okay? We're not staying, so just stop! That's that. Sounds like... Sounds like she means business. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Come on. We're leaving. I'm only supposed to give out one per group. If you're in the area, check back in a few months. We might be accepting people then. Thank you for the help. And, uh, sorry for the language. Well, it's a shitty situation. We're all doing the best we can. You all stay safe out there. from.